We know there are dozens of water treatment plants across the state, but some people in Northwest Bear County are doing everything they can to keep one from being approved. Yeah, they claim it's not just bad for them, but for all of San Antonio, as Sarah Costa found out, it's less about the plant and more about our delicate and unique watershed. Water treatment facilities fail a lot. If a proposed wastewater treatment plant gets approved by the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality in Northwest Bear County, it could be detrimental, not just to the Holotus Creek watershed and our aquifer system, but to the drinking water of 1.7 million people in San Antonio. That's the message that the people who live along Scenic Loop and Stort Burnbaum are trying to get out. As they fight Lennar Construction Company from developing Wajalote Ranch Project, which would require this wastewater treatment plant. Burnbaum used to teach planetary earth science at UTSA. That wastewater treatment process does not purify the water to the point where it supports human consumption. He says for this water to be safe to use, the treatment process must be perfect, but the chemicals used to treat it can be as harmful, potentially causing cancer. However, these wastewater treatment plants are being used all over Texas. He walked us through what makes our watershed unique and extremely delicate. And these possible problems, if one of these plants were to be placed over it. One, we have a limestone system or karst, not sand or mud, which help naturally filter water. Sand or mud with vegetation, they can catch these chemicals and pollutants, helping absorb them. Limestone is not going to clean up the water the way sand or sandstone will. So that means that this contaminated water is constantly, constantly flowing with little to no dilution effect. Again, it just builds up over time. Two, there's no predictability where this water will end up. We have a Swiss cheese system because of limestone rock. It can end up in people's wells and into the Edwards Aquifer, which is where San Antonio gets its drinking water. Water is going to flow through cracks and fractures and holes, whether the hole is pencil width or whether the hole is a cave. So because these are limestone uh, aquifer systems, that water can actually move quicker into the well system. Yes. When you have something like toxins, chemicals that are dangerous, PFAS, fertilizers, or wastewater that wasn't treated perfectly, and we're going through our unique watershed into these aquifers that are limestone, it can quickly end up in our drinking water. Correct. TCEQ has one rule. They don't differentiate between a soil river and a half pipe made of limestone. They apply the same generic rule to every river in Texas. And so those rules really are inadequate for this application. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.